What's up, Stock Family? I want to make this video on AMC. If you've been watching AMC, if you if you've seen what AMC did today, um, that's why I'm making this video on why I think AMC is going to squeeze. A lot of fud out there. There's a lot of hateful comments in my videos. I see it in other people's videos, and we've been doing nothing but going up the past three, four trading days. So. I want to make another video. I've already made a video about why I think AMC is going to explode. This is um, my second video on why I think AMC is going to squeeze. All right. This is not financial advice. None of my videos are financial advice and none of them ever will be. All right. So I'm just going to get right to the point. Um, there's no, I'm not going to be sponsoring anything or anything like that. There's no links to any other anything else just straight to the point on why I think AMC is gonna squeeze all right if you've seen AMC what it did today 16% day uh, the last trading day which was on Friday we had a 12% day we've been having these good runs on the stock a lot of people have lost hope I understand I get it we've been here before that's one of my points on why I think AMC is gonna squeeze so if you if you can stick around for the video if not I understand um, 72 million shares last time I, I checked um, and we finished up at six dollars there they're at six dollars um, and, and when I made my last video I was I was hoping that we were gonna finish at six dollars and we did so that is so good for the stock it looks good on the chart and it's gonna look good tomorrow um, we'll see what happens tomorrow but earnings are coming up on the 28th uh, yeah, I got a couple notes here, so sorry about it, but uh, I want to be a little bit more professional. But on the 28th, we've got earnings, and I believe that's another reason why people are buying in right now. Not only just because of the stock split and the unknown of that is that we've got earnings coming up. And <laughs> I think a lot of people know that, our, that AMC earnings are going to be good. I think they're going to be great. Um... I think that the split, either way, honestly, is gonna be a good thing. I think that before this, before we had Ape, we were we were doing good. Um, a lot of people were upset whenever they created Ape. Um, and now people love Ape. And now that they're taking it away, whenever you take something away from people, they get very upset about it. Understandable, because it's a stock, and you're you're gonna lose everything if you don't sell the ape or wait for the conversion and hope for the best but i truly believe that this is in the best of our interest um for the stock i think that it's going to go up and i've already explained my reasons for that in previous videos but basically before we had ape um amc needed the money now AMC needs the money. It did the stock good whenever, um, I mean, it did bad for a little bit, but overall it did good for the stock. And I think it'll do good for the stock whenever we convert back. That's just my personal opinion. Um, but overall, before all that, hang on, there's a car coming by. Before all that, you have price targets on AMC. A lot of people think that just just the pandemic made AMC squeeze. It had a lot to do with it. And there was a lot of people online. There was a lot of people on Reddit. But there's a ton more people on Reddit. There's a ton more people that know about AMC than they did before. And the price targets that you have, if you look at the chart yourself, go look at the chart on AMC before the pandemic um, in 2018, before the pandemic, the price was from 2018 to 2019 the price was ten dollars to twenty dollars it was a ten dollar to twenty dollar stock before the pandemic um 2017 to 2018 it was a 32 dollar stock it went from 32 dollars to 15 dollars that's right before the pandemic right there that's right before the pandemic but way back in 2014 amc was $23 a share. It was $23 a share in 2014. 
Um, and I didn't look further back than that, but 2015 to 2016, it was $35 a share and it went down to $23 a share. From 2016 to 2017, AMC was $24 a share and it went up to $34. So you have these price increases. It wasn't the first time, the pandemic wasn't the first time. It was the first time it, it shot up that much, that much of a percentage in, in the short amount of time that it did, but it wasn't the first time it's gone or it was at $30. I think a lot of people are confused about that and think that we'll never get back to $30. AMC has been at $30 for years it's played and flirted from $20 to $30 to $10 to $15. And now they've kicked it down so far, they've shorted it so much that I, I truly believe that there's, there's, there's way more short interest now than there was. I mean, there's a lot of things going for this stock that was the same before the, right there at the pandemic, whenever the stock shot up. So I think that that it can still squeeze it can still get back to you know the ten dollar level at least that's my main point about all of these price targets is that amc was a ten dollar stock pretty much before the pandemic it was a ten dollar stock where are we at now it's pretty cheap where it's at right now so i think this 16 percent day that we had today a lot of it is FOMO, a lot of it is speculation, a lot of it is interest in the stock before we get to earnings, because a lot of people think it's gonna be good. And and we finished at $6, I think it came back down uh, under $6. It's flirting with that $6 level, we've been here. This is what we were doing last week, we were flirting with this level. Now we're back here. And it's gonna, I think it's gonna create more interest. So it's gonna be even worse for the shorts. It's gonna create more interest and people are gonna continue to buy the stock. I know I have, um, and my portfolio looks great. So all the people that were hating on the last video and the video before that and the video before that, you know, you guys have missed out on almost 30% gains. My portfolio right now this year is up almost 70%. And AMC has a lot to do with that. Just my strategy on how I trade it, buy it and sell it. Um, and now I have more AMC than I've ever had. And I feel like a lot of people that have stayed in the play have more AMC, some of it unfortunately more than, they have, more than they've ever had. Um, but the stock is coming back and there's nothing but good news around the corner. So the stock is gonna continue to squeeze and it's really cheap right now. That's why I think it's gonna squeeze because you know, we doubled, if not are gonna triple the amount of volume in this stock to where the previous session was at like 30 million shares traded or thereabouts. You know, we might finish tonight at 75, 70, 70 to 75 million to 80 million shares traded on AMC. You know, they don't have any more shares left to, to short and, um, and loan out anymore on the stock. And as, as it continues to rise, it's gonna continue to that interest level, not only people buying it, but people shorting it, they're just gonna continue to do it. And I see the stock squeezing. I, I see it going up from here. This is not financial advice. I'm just your hype man. If you've got any doubt and you're, you're on the fence about AMC, I think the $6 level, definitely the 550, if it goes down to 550, 540, you know, anywhere around that level is a good level to jump back in it if you're not in it and ride it on the way up because I see us going, if we can get to 650, $7, $8, it's still a cheap stock at $8. I mean, like I said, in 2014, the stock was more than it is now. And Adam Aaron has been doing everything he can to bring revenue and to bring a lot of interest into this company and do a lot of different things like the Ant-Man movie. He made, uh, they made popcorn helmets of the Ant-Man and they sold like, I don't, I don't know how much, it was a ridiculous amount, like three to $400,000 in Ant-Man helmets. 
So it's stuff like that. Uh, Cocaine Bear. I didn't think that that was going to be a big movie. I thought it was dumb. I thought the idea was dumb. But the hype around the movie is insane. I, I mean, I see it on YouTube uh, channels. I see it on Hulu. I see it on Netflix. I see it advertised everywhere. TikTok. Everybody's talking about Cocaine Bear. So the amount of interest that is around AMC, the stock, what it's done before, I think is a lot more than it was when everybody was at home, wasn't really talking about it. Damn sure wasn't talking about it outside of the house, just on online. I think there's a lot more interest now than there was before. And that's why I think it's gonna squeeze. So have faith. Don't, don't worry about an, uh, if we have a red day tomorrow. It's just the time for the shorts, get theirs in, get their shorts in. But ultimately, I think we're gonna keep going up, especially closer we get to earnings. And then the closer we get to the split, it's just gonna create more and more interest. And the volume, if it stays there, the way it is, is insane right now, along with everything else. So the stock has everything going for it. So I'm gonna end the video straight to the point. Thank you for the views. Thank you for the subscribes. I'm out, one love.